Paul's in. Okay, welcome back to G-Works. I've been out of action for a while after having a brain tumour removed and then managed to break my left leg and fracture my left ankle. So, yeah, just finally getting back to stuff now. And I have got a heap of mail to get through. We'll see how this goes, but I'm thinking... Um, it may end up as two, possibly even three videos. Let's have a look in here. Okay. I am currently reorganising every room in my house. The things I'm taking away are, are not even re related to electronics, not even aquarium. Just personal objects. Okay. So, what these are, are cable management coils. They'll actually, you can uh, run them counterclockwise and they'll open up and you can insert your cables in there, like four, five, six, and you can easily pop them out along the length if you want. Um, I'm not going to do a video on how to use them because my hands are rooted, so... Uh, here's a pack of cheap AAA, I mean AA batteries I've decided to try. I'll, uh, there's 16 of them in there. And I shall um, try to, oh no, I will show you where they came from later in the video. So that's those. I'll just pop them aside. Ah, these are brushes for mainly for cleaning up electronics boards, but various things. Um, that's a wire one. I think they're all wire, but yeah, that's a softer wire one, and that's a kind of a very soft wire one, uh, which I want for my keyboard. I'm just going to go and test it out. So, yes, that worked really well. I'm very happy with those at this point. As long as they don't fall apart. Hello, my little yellow pointing hands decide to fall on the floor. What else is in here? Ah, cable clips, another type of cable restraint. These will actually fit around those coiled ones to um, to uh, keep them in place. And these screw into the desk, but I'll need a very shallow screw. Oh, okay. My daughter lives in far north of Queensland and she gets around everywhere on a um, electric scooter I think they're called knee scooters so I just bought her this horn to attach to it it's battery operated we'll get that out and have a quick look at him oh it appears to already have batteries in it so oh yeah, there we go, so I can pull the tab out, hopefully, and, oh no, it's just opening the, oh, it does have a battery in it, let's try her. Wow, that's loud, I'm impressed. What's missing is the other part of the bracket. What have we got here? So it's no good without that other part, but this looks like a Timu male, and if that's the case, it won't be any problem. It, they'll 
give me a refund on it, but I really wanted the horn now. Right, in this box is... I have no idea. Oh, okay. This is a... I want to do some work with electric motors, so this is a small... Can you see it on there? Small DC motor. I'll show you where that came from at the end of the video. And I'm guessing this is another one. I don't need the motors for anything specific. I just thought, yeah, I'm going to have a play with those. So yes, this is a second one. And uh, oh, this is, I can't remember what one this is actually, excuse me, get out of the shot. Oh, okay. This is for my office. You won't be able to see it because of this sticker. But, oh, hang on, I might be able to open this plastic. No, I can't open the plastic easily. What it says is Big G's, that's me, workshop, tinkering and fixing. That describes me perfectly. So, there's our first mailbox haul. I'm going to pause there, put them away, and come back with the second one. Okay, this is a big one, so I'm going to have to get it off camera to open it a bit. Probably another TV. Must be about the last of the Timu now, I think. Oh, well. I think... Oh, no. There's one big box. More cable management stuff. Some large zip ties I wanted. Okay. Excuse my crinkling. Let's have a look. So, I'm just going to pull one of these out. So these are 30 centimeters zip ties. Um, Mainly I plan on using those for my aquarium stands, but I've got a robot project, in fact two robot projects I'm working on, plus some animatronics, which will be affected by those. So yeah, you've seen this stuff, the cable management, you'll probably get a better picture on and I'll show you where I bought them. Now this one, I think, is just pens because all my knives and all my pens have disappeared. Well, they'll be here somewhere, but as I said, I'm reorganising my office and all the rooms eventually. Yes, these are little, this is a pack of 10 gel pens. Yes, that right. Mm -hmm. oh, she seems to work all right. And there's a picture of a 
a one of my old boss. Right, let us see what is in here. I really can't think what it would be. Jeez, I can't wait for the new rise to arrive or, or my old nice to turn up or something. This is ridiculous. I've even bought cardboard cutters, but I can't find them either. Which is part of the reason I'm redoing my office electronics lab here. And while I'm doing it, I'm making a master list so I can just type in what I'm looking for and it will tell me where I put it. And I've been really good about keeping up with that so far. Oh, okay. These, I'll show you since I've opened the box. But, oh. This is a mini set of dollies to help me with the all the room movement. Now I put these under, move them around. I've got the four wheels and there's fuck four of them in the pack, plus a lever to help lift the furniture. So yeah, they're going to be handy. Let's get them away and we'll put them in the garage later. Um, I'm not going to open these but these are some 150mm zip ties and you've seen the pens so we will get all of that out the way for sorting and listing after. Okay, let's keep going. What's... Jesus, another big one. Oh, well, the big one fell... Excuse me. The big one... fell into another tub, so... Yeah, it will come... soon. Thanks so much. If I remember, I might even start copying one circuit down here in, well, in Australia, here in Tasmania. He always does them small to large, and I can see some sense in that. Don't ask me what sense, I don't even have common sense. Oh, and this is a miniature aquarium heater, so not relevant to us today. 